guys and gals, welcome to Vinny Vid Productions videos. This is a model railroad channel. BNSF 6951 shares layout updates and rail fanning videos. Vinny Built Structures shares scratch builds, kit builds, and kit bashes. And on Friday night, we have the Cuz. That's right, on Friday night, I do a live stream and it's called Hanging with the Cuz. If you like these type of videos, please consider to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit that bell. So you'll be notified when I do future updates on live streams and or videos. With all that being said, let's get on with the video. We'll be right back. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinnie Built Structures video. In this video, we continue on with the Diamond Coal Corporation for Mr. Mel Fackler. We have put a whole bunch of stuff together. We even painted some parts. So if you guys wanted to see what's going on in this video, stay tuned because the video is coming right up. This Vinny Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail Technologies has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, now it's time for the next step on your layout. Trees! I have been dealing with Bob for 7 years now and he does excellent work on his trees. So if you need some trees on your layout, check out Long Shadow's Trees. Tell him because sent you. I'm getting this ready to paint the inside of the building and I know you're gonna say well why you do it that way you should have done it before you put it together well I tell you all of these joints where all of these pieces come together that's a lot of cleanup to do so I took the extra time to do this and to do this one uh, using this cheap Walmart tape this was a roll of 99 cents and I bought like three of them at the time I don't know if they still have them but as you can see I got a couple of them here they're only good for doing this kind of work uh, other than this kind of work I would not use it to mask off if you're going to paint any details or anything like that so while this is being painted and drying we're going to continue on with the kit and we're going to go to the stairs because that's the way they're pointing it for us to go so after the stairs then we've got a couple of conveyors to do all right so with that being said I may or may not include this all in one video. So we'll see how it goes. If it gets too long, uh, I probably won't. Anyhow, with all that being said, stay tuned and we will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, as per the instructions, uh, we are gonna start doing the uh, stairs right here. Uh, and all the parts, as you can see, are here on this sprue. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them out. Uh, and then once they cut out, we'll start putting this puppy together. Uh, it needs to get painted black, so I'm not ready to paint the rest of the stuff black yet. So we'll get this done, and then we'll paint this black at the same time. All right, so we got these two numbers right here, uh, 24 and 23. That's these two guys, one and two. And we're gonna go ahead oops, and cut these guys out. And again, I always put the flat. <laughs> Sorry about that. When my, uh, as long as I had the charger plugged into my, to my camera, uh, it'll shut off. It's kind of weird. All right. Anyhow, <laughs> we're gonna start cutting this guy out. And I get, I always put the flat side towards the piece I'm gonna be using. This gets it a little bit closer, a little, a little less clean up. You still gotta clean up, but it's a little bit less. All right. There's one. And as I start using up these sprues, I get rid of them just to 
contain some of the clutter or get rid of some of the clutter. Uh, and I just put it in the trash can. All right, so we got those two out right now. All right, and then we need number 30. Thirty, thirty-one, and twenty-nine. Which I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these guys off. It's just longer, uh, the longer stairs. Now these, uh, these will all get painted black. Now again, I will be cleaning all of this stuff up uh, as soon as I get it off the sprue. Because I can see there's going to be lots of stuff. I wish they would do a little bit better on their scaling of these handrails because they are so far out of scale. It's unbelievable. All right, what did I say? Now I got that one. I need number 31, which I think is going to be this guy. Yeah. Thirty-three. This must be thirty-three. Nope. Okay. Where is number thirty-three? And we need this number twenty-five right here. I'm still looking for this number 33. Uh oh, I don't see a 33. Maybe it's on a different sprue. And that's going to be inside handrail. <clears throat> All right, guys, let me see if I can locate the other, the last uh, handrail. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, uh, they're going to do this half. Oops, let me get down here. This half of the staircase and stairwell and walkway and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and uh, we'll proceed with this. But let me show you something on this. <clears throat> on these stairs, now everything has been cleaned up. On these stairs, and I don't know how well you're going to see this. But we'll try and get you in this. So you need to be really careful when you clean these up. But if you can see... Let me see if I can. The little notches in there. I hope you can see those. Let me get that. Well, those notches will line up with the alignment pins. I'm trying to get them so you guys can see that. There are alignment pins on the bottom of that post. Yeah, you can see them right there. Well, they line up with those notches that are in uh, in the stairs. So it kind of helps you put it together where it's supposed to be. Anyhow, uh, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to use my regular Model Masters glue because I, I think it's going to dry up a little faster for me. So that being said, we're going to start off with this long piece here, <clears throat> which is this guy right here. And then we'll continue to build from there. So, and yes, I am wearing my uh, OptiVisor so I can see what the heck I'm doing. All right. And this does have a pattern, like it's wooden planks up there, so you need to be aware of that. And we'll just stick him in there like that. Make sure you line them up at the edges. Like this guy needs to go forward a little bit. 
right there. All right, so now we'll build everything off of this. While this is drying up, we'll go ahead and put these guys together. Let me see how they're gonna fit first. Make sure the stairs are going in the right direction, which they weren't. And then that would go there. Now something's not right. <clears throat> hmm. The middle one don't line up. The top one lines up. The bottom one lines up, but the middle one don't. That's strange. Put it this way. Really? The stairs are upside down, but that's how it lines up with the stairs upside down. This is going to go. Well, they have a major screw up on this, guys. You really need to watch out for this. I was just telling you about those little line, alignment bosses and the notches in the stairs. Well, it lines up. The notches and the ball and the line alignment pins line up, but the stairs are upside down. If I turn the stairs right way, then it's just the top one and the bottom one that line up. The middle one does not line up. That's the way it needs to go. It can't go any other way. It can't go with the stairs upside down. No way. <laughs> so that means. That I need to flatten this boss out right here. I can't believe that they made that upside down. I mean, you guys can see the stairs have to go in one way. They were aligning it with the stairs upside down. That's weird. Holy mackerel. And this one here does line up with this guy. All right, well, I'm going to do it the way I think it's supposed to be done, the way it looks right to me. So, let me uh, sand that little boss down right there. Now, I'm not reading any of the directions, guys. I'm just using a lot of common sense to put this, to put this guy together. So, let's see. All right, we're gonna let those components dry up before we do go any further. Um, I could start cutting out the other section of stairs, but we'll wait for that. See, because I think this actually has to be on the building for me to build it, but to do some pre-assemble, pre-assemblies is okay. Now there's gonna be another one, that's this guy. He's gonna go on the inside of that one. So how does he line up? <laughs> That one also. <laughs> that is weird, fellas. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You know what? I think I made a mistake. All right, I made a mistake, fellas. Yes, sir. And that happens every once in a while. when you get a little over anxious to build something and you assume and you shouldn't assume that I screwed up big time and I admit it I think I need to put a little more glue down there all 
Well, at least I made the mistake, and you guys can see it. Anyhow, I had this. I had uh, the stairs the wrong set, the wrong way. So now that looks a lot better. You guys can see that now. All right. Well, I'm gonna let this stuff dry up, and then we'll continue from there. All right. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, as you can see right now, I have all my stair components all completed. Uh, I also have a couple of the stanchions over here and you're wondering why I'm gonna have those there it's because I'm gonna paint it black and With that being said, uh, I want to paint everything black all at one time So we're gonna go ahead and do this framework right here and put that together uh, So we can paint that black also uh, And then there's a foundation on there. I'll get the same color foundation as all the rest of the foundations that I've done So let's move this aside for now And let us get all of these parts that we need right here. Now we're just going to do the framework for now. Uh, we could put the we could put that on there. Actually, we could put a lot of this stuff on here. It's all going to be black anyhow. We're not going to do the upper section yet. We're just going to do this section down here. So that being said, let's see what parts we need. <coughs> I can see a couple of them on here already. Uh, a couple of the uh, framework here and here. And uh, all right, so let's verify the numbers. And I'm, I'm assuming that these guys here are going to be part of it also because I can see a couple of little uh, angle brackets that are going to hold the platform up. So I got to find the platform because I want that to be black also. All right, let me start looking at some numbers here and start cutting some stuff out and we'll go from there. Meanwhile, let me put this guy back in the box here. Less confusion on the desk. All right, so we need these two, one, two. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and take this guy out so this can sit flat. And I'm just going to twist him off. I really shouldn't do that. It could hurt the plastic. I'm going to put him in the box. And now that gives me an easier surface to cut my stuff out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut one, two, uh, three, and four to stop. Okay, those on the side, and now we'll cut these guys out. There's one, and we'll go ahead and cut this guy out. <coughs> And I'll probably assemble this off camera and then just bring it back when when I when you guys see it. Because there's some little parts on here I gotta deal with also. It's gonna be these parts right here. And these parts up here. All gotta be put together so I can paint it all black all at the same time. Alright, anyhow, uh let me continue on with this so We'll be back shortly. All right, guys, what I'm doing now is I'm assembling a lot of the uh, uh, sub assemblies. And if I'm going to put the, the uh, uh, silo, I guess you want to call it, that's going to be on top of one of the buildings. Uh, it's got a couple of locating pins on there. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the holes in there. Oh, yeah, you can see them to the left and to the right at three o'clock and nine o'clock. Anyhow, those holes will correspond with some pins that are on this piece right here. And all I gotta do is see where they're at because I already put some glue on here. There you go. <clears throat> and 
and the, lo the, the locating pins is so you can line up where it sits on the structure and by the way I do have the uh, structure that it sits on is completed oh, well it's just got to be painted as you can see I got the uh, platform and the, and the walkway there I also finished the very top building which is all masked off all the stairs are done so I'm going to get this guy together and sand down whatever has to be sanded down and uh, we'll continue on so now we have one more piece on here which is this guy and he's got to come off and he is the topper for this guy so let's go ahead and I found that on this kit for some reason or another the sprue parts are really thick so I decided to use my knife instead of my uh, sprue cutter this guy here I want to over here so I don't lose it all right so what I need to do now is kind of clean this up a little bit Now on this one here, it's also got a couple of locating pins. Let's see. Well, this has got to sit on top of that structure, and this has to be facing 90 degrees. Oops, 90 degrees. So I'm not going to glue this on just yet. Uh, the locating pins are just to center it, looks like. Yeah, just to center it. Alright, so we'll finish putting this guy together when we actually have it sitting on top of here. Because this is not glued in yet either. And these, these spots right here is one, two, three, and four. They will line up <coughs> with the posts here and it'll sit on there just like that. Except this should be and there's another platform that'll go on the building that's up here so this little building right here be sitting on top of there like that and there'll be a conveyor coming in on this side and uh well one of the sides i think it comes from the building to here and then to into here and blah 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 anyhow i'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff ready and get it start getting it painted I just have the conveyors left to do right now uh, and painting the roofs and stuff but other than that we're uh, getting close to the end of this so stay tuned and we shall be back here in a little bit all right guys and now we're back we're going to continue on this build uh, on this uh, diamond coal corporation the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start putting uh, this conveyor together and it looks like it's got to be Put together here uh, because it's extra long they could have actually done that <laughs> but anyhow <coughs> excuse me <coughs> this is one of the jigs that Roy has given me again and as you can see I'm going to join those two right there in the middle uh, but that's not the only thing I'm going to do to that because of that split in the middle I'm going to reinforce it with a piece of this number 179 um, styrene strip and also <coughs> this guy um, he's also a little bit warped so I'm going to put a piece of this number 175 in there to give it a little bit of sturdiness also <coughs> so with all that being said the first thing we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and put this guy together and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give him <coughs> a little bit of the Tamaya stuff here and we're going to let that sit for a couple of minutes. And not only that this one has to get done, but the uh, side pieces. These guys down here are going to have to be cut off and do the same thing as this. Put this, put them together. 
as have. So while we're waiting for this to dry, we'll go ahead and do that. <coughs> and screw cutters. And again, guys, always clean your parts. Clean your parts, you'll have a nice model when you get done. Okay, let's put that one together first. <coughs> and I did look at the numbers previously, guys, so I'm not just doing this at random. And that's just going to go in there just like that. All right. So, basically, we just need to clean off the uh, mess that's there. I call it a mess, but it's not really a mess. All right, I'm just going to take my emery board and just kind of give it that. Just rub your fingers over it. If it feels good to your fingers, it's good. See, like that side there, didn't have anything. This side here, same thing. <coughs> now, when you put this together, you need to make sure that your uh, mounting lines are even and so that looks really good right there <coughs> All right. for this i think i'm going to use my model masters Now, something that you can do is put a straight edge up against there and just make sure that it is straight. Oops. And that looks good. And now we'll go ahead and cut the other one off. Close that up so I don't knock it over. Push that out of the way. All right. Guys, we're running out of parts on this kit, so we're almost done. I think basically the only thing that's left now are all the roof sections. right down the center all right and then we're gonna take this guy put him as close to the center as possible and then we're gonna move him off to the side
and we will put a weight Now we just let that sit there for a minute. And meanwhile, I'll prepare this one. All right, we're going to do the same exact thing right now. See, because you can see, if you guys can see that, but it is bowed just a little bit. And I'm sure once I put the sidewalls on it, it'd be okay. But I'm just doing this as an extra measure to make sure that it stays straight. These side pieces will also help keep it straight. But I just want to be sure that we don't get any kind of malfunctions after the kit is built. Alright, so Next thing we can do is we can put a bead of glue down here. Just trying to make sure my edges, my edges are all. All right, so next, we're going to put the other side wall on this guy. And make sure he's clean. It don't take much to clean these guys up, guys. So the extra couple of minutes that you take to do this is well worth it. All right, and put a bead of glue down here. Come on. All right, we're going to let that. All right, so there is one conveyor. And now we'll put the second conveyor together. That's looking good. All right. Same thing, run a bead of glue down and we'll be done with the conveyors except for uh, roof. I guess I'm using my normal glue, my first question was to here, but sometimes I feel like my glue actually works a faster and that's why I use it. It's just a number of times. All right, so the second conveyor is on its way to being done. So, I will be back here and show you what other progress I have made here in a little bit. Be back shortly. All right, guys, as you can see, I have a bunch of parts in front of me. All of them have been painted except for these two guys right here. I'm going to wait to paint those. Uh, but my stanchion for my, I don't know what it is, a silo, a mixer, whatever it is, and all my foundations have been painted. Uh, my building itself is in primer right now. This one also is in primer. And all my parts that need to get black are painted black. 
the very top, uh, the guy goes up here like that. He's all in primer and so on and so forth. So, with all of that being said, the next time you see this is going to be uh, pretty much completed unless I show you something uh, of interest in between now and then. Uh, but I don't think so. So anyhow, stay tuned for the reveal. That being said, we'll be back here shortly.